Welcome to Table Topics with your favorite homegirls. Um, <laughs> so today we are coming to you guys in this beautiful, the cutest, look at this, house that is listed for sale in Jessup. On appliances. On appliances. It is so cute. I love it. We are going to have to do a tour. We'll do a video. We'll do it like at the end of this, we'll include a tour of this because. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. This is. It's cute, y'all. I would buy it if I didn't have a house. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> like we're sitting at a nook, like a built in yeah. table in the kitchen. In the um, fabric on the cushion matches the wallpaper. It's cute. Anyways, um, today we are talking about, so you want to be a real estate agent. We love being a real estate agent. Yes. Um, I literally had a surreal moment last week about there's no other profession I would want to do. Mm -hmm. I love what we do. I've done quite a few professions. This is by far <laughs> my favorite. How many professions have you done? I don't know. I mean, I've been a waiter, waitress. Been a waitress. I've been a cashier and sales associate in a, two clothing stores. I was in a fast food restaurant. Um, I've sure. worked as a medical assistant in like cardiology, a medical assistant in bones, and a medical assistant in what used to be Apple Care. And I was a bookkeeper for years. I was an insurance agent. I love real estate. <laughs> And I worked in a hair salon. That didn't last long. Hair was not for me. I love real estate, though. Yeah. I agree. Out of everything I've ever done, I couldn't pick a better, mm -hmm. a better job for me now. Um, but especially with the market changing, a lot of people that have considered real estate um, thinks it's been. Easy money, do we say that? Maybe. It wasn't easy money. It wasn't easy money, but people were, getting in it, yes. thinking it's easy money. Yeah. When it's not. Mm -hmm. They have, I've even spoke to a couple of people that have a very shrewd misconception of what all realtors do, what it takes to be a realtor, all the upfront expenses, all the hard work and long hours. Mm -hmm. um, literally, I was talking to a client at nine o'clock last night and that's not uncommon mm -hmm. at all. It's 24 seven. 24 seven. You may have days where it's slower, mm -hmm. but you are always working. You're always trying to find a client that you can help. You always have to keep your phone on you mm -hmm. for the clients that you're currently yeah. helping. Yeah. You're um, always looking for homes mm -hmm. to see if there's something that's my favorite market part. that, that maybe your much. client is interested in and you can't find anything. Well, now you're searching the market 24-7 mm -hmm. to see if there's a new listing. Because there's not a set time. Mm -hmm. They're, they literally can be listed at 8 o'clock in the morning or 8 o'clock at night. They can be listed at midnight or like 12.48 mm -hmm. p.m. Like yeah, why? but yeah. they can, um, or prices change on houses or houses that were under contract are now coming back on the market. It's mm -hmm. an ever changing market. You gotta keep up with interest mm -hmm. rates and all the different down payment assistant programs or which lender can offer what for your clients. Um, it's a lot. Yeah. So I think we just really wanted to hop on here and kind of, mm -hmm maybe put it out there that if anyone is interested in getting into real estate or you have questions about what it takes, what's the first step, yeah. we would love to help. We yes. put our numbers at the end of this. You mm -hmm. can leave comments. Like we're here to help anybody and everybody who wants to come to this profession yes. because we truly believe there can't be too many because what's meant yeah. to be ours it will be ours. God Absolutely. is going to bless us at the end of the day for what he intends on being ours. So come, come along with us, join our team, you know, whatever, whatever works best for you, we're down for it. We're not yes. going to say, no, we don't want you to be an agent. Yep. 
No. No. There's enough There's for, room everyone. for everybody. It's literally. If we're eating, you're eating. Exactly. Um, and then also, even if you're not looking for a team to join, if you're wondering yeah. if this might be something for you, just kind of give you the extra. I'm not supposed to be touching the table. The extra ump that you need. Yeah, because yeah, um, you may not be in Georgia. Yeah, you, you might may not be, be in Georgia. You might be in Ohio. And you may never, ever reach out to us, but maybe this video was your sign. Yes. You've been thinking about it, and then you've seen this. And if you're even already in, and things are slowing yeah. down. We're coming up to Christmas. It's always slower at this time of year, and you're feeling in your feelings because I about said girl, but girl, guy, whoever, real estate can put you in your feelings fast. Yeah. It can get you down. It can get you happy. It can do all kinds of stuff so quickly. Mm -hmm. So if maybe this was your first year or your 10th year and you're getting slow right now and you're just like, mm -hmm. is this for me? Stick to it. What you do today, literally how you feel today can affect how you feel tomorrow and your productivity tomorrow, your productivity today. So stick with it. Um, it's all about waves. You know, you'll have waves full of busyness and waves not busy at all. Um, and that's normal. It's normal. Um, you may yeah. have a client that has been looking for the perfect house for them for a year, a year or longer. I have had, I have a yeah. couple of those. I have someone right now, we have found things, but they just don't work out for him. And so we're still looking. Yeah. We're not giving up. We're going to find don't the Don't give house. up. Yeah. yeah. Don't give up. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the journey. Yes. Know who's in control. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's all about perspective. So real estate's hard, but real estate's fun. Mm -hmm. So if you're already in it, if you're thinking about doing it, if you need the extra ump, I always suggest um, have someone that's also in real estate or at least has been in real estate, a positive person that mm -hmm. can hold you accountable. Yeah. Um, we have each other. We have my mom. We have a village that can literally hold us accountable. But at the end of the day, my husband's not in real estate. So my venting or my excitement isn't necessarily the same or received the same as it would be with Rachel or my mom, you know? It's it's different because they're not in it. So get someone that's in real estate, have coffee with them at least once a week. Yeah. Or if you don't drink coffee, go for a walk, do something. Mm -hmm. Someone you can confide in. That's literally the most important part of real estate to me. Yeah, so. not doing it alone. Not doing it alone, yeah. which you're never really alone, but to have someone here, mm -hmm. it helps. So. I hope this was a little bit informative, a little bit helpful, and let's take a tour of this house. Also, she wasn't kidding when she said our numbers are on here. If you're another realtor or um, you're thinking of becoming a realtor, reach mm -hmm. out to us if if you want some extra oomph. We're good at, at lifting people up, so don't yeah. hesitate to reach out. All right, let's go, guys.